This crispy, comforting chickenless chicken nugget contains no chicken, and I don't think anybody would be able to tell the difference. And that's all because of one can of jackfruit. Well, two if you're gonna make a large batch like me. So let's get going. First, we're gonna drain and wash our jackfruit. These are specifically young green jackfruit. So once they're washed, I'm gonna throw them into a food processor. Now, commonly plant-based nuggets tend to be a little spongy because they are trying to mimic whole pieces of chicken, which most chicken nuggets are not. Here, we're gonna be trying to mimic a McDonald's chicken nugget or any like frozen based chicken nugget. Those tend to be made with minced chicken and I wanna keep the flavor kind of light because chicken is fairly plain. So we're gonna start with just two pinches of salt and about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Now for the binder, we're gonna be using methyl cellulose. It's one of my favorite binding ingredients. Now, before I get all of the comments about being wallpaper glue or laxative, you are correct. Methyl cellulose is used in lots of products in many industries, just like many other food products like corn, which is used in soaps, paints, corks, linoleum, polish, adhesives, rubber substitutes, wallpaper, wallboard, dry cell batteries, textile finishings, cosmetic powders, candles, dyes, pharmaceuticals, lubricants, insulation, and many, many more. I can keep going on, but these are all things made from corn. Methyl cellulose has the unique ability to firm when heated, very similar to meat, so that's why we're going to be using it here. About two tablespoons or one tablespoon per can. Now, along with methyl cellulose, I'm also gonna be using a quarter cup of gluten. That's gonna help bind this and create some protein in here as well. Now, lastly, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil and start to slowly pulse. We just want to pulse this all together. We're going to try to create kind of like a mixture that is nicely mixed and blended while also still being chunky and fibery. Now we're going to go slow with this pulsing and mixing because we want to make sure the consistency is just right. Over blended and it's just going to be mush. Under blended and it's going to be way too chunky. Once we've got it to the consistency that we want, I'm going to toss this into a bowl and just kind of mix it up. Make sure everything's nice and even and we can break up any bigger pieces of jackfruit that are still there. On a little note that this mixture is pretty dense. It is very, very thick. Now I'm gonna grab a cookie sheet with just a piece of like parchment paper or here I'm just using a sill pad and a bowl of cornstarch. At this point, we're gonna start making our nuggets. The sill pad is gonna be our base of where all of this is gonna rest back and forth. You'll see. Now I'm just gonna roll the nuggets with wet hands, trying to make, you know, normal size chicken nuggets, which I never tend to do. I always make them too large. So keep that in mind that once these are breaded, they're gonna be kind of big. I'm gonna roll each piece into a nugget, toss it into the cornstarch. Don't worry about getting too much on because we're gonna allow that to hear and kind of knock some off here on the end. This made a total of 24 nuggets. The cornstarch goes on pretty thick, so we're just gonna knock that off with a strainer and we're gonna end up saving that cornstarch in the end to use in the batter. So once everything's knocked off, we're gonna to toss them back on the sill pad, cover them up and let them rest for about a half hour. That's gonna be enough time for the methyl cellulose to hydrate and for today's sponsor. So I'm sure you've heard me talk about coffee a lot in the past. I love it, I have it every single day multiple times a day. And if you're like Monica and I, sometimes day after day, those grocery store bags can get just a little boring. And that's why I signed up for Trade Coffee, today's sponsor. Trade Coffee is a coffee subscription service that's partnered with over 55 of the nation's top rated independent roasters, offering over 450 unique roasts. So after I first got a trade sponsorship back in 2019, I was really surprised by how much better their coffee was than what I was picking up on my own. The quality is better and it was definitely fresher because every bag is roasted fresh on demand based on your schedule. I, I immediately became a subscriber and have been ever since. I get a new bag of coffee every week and so far I've loved every single one of them. Right now I'm drinking this Banner Dark. It's, it's, it's dark. I recently switched the dark roast, so I'm learning a whole lot about some new flavors of coffee. And this one's like, it's really rich, really smooth, and has some like chocolatey notes to it. I kinda, I kinda, I really dig that. I am thoroughly enjoying all of the different variety. So gang, upgrade your morning routine with better coffee. Right now, Trade is offering you a free bag of coffee with any subscription over at drinktrade.com slash saucedash. That's drinktrade.com slash saucedash for a free bag of coffee with any subscription purchase. Drinktrade.com slash saucedash. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Give it a try. Trade is the best coffee decision I've ever made. So it's been about a half an hour and we're going to make a batter for these nuggets. I'm going to be mimicking the McDonald's chicken nugget style, but make it my own. If you have your own batter or coating that you particularly like, you can run with it. Anything's going to work here. So I'm going to be using the remaining starch, which was about a tablespoon, along with a half cup flour, two pinches of salt, one teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon paprika, half teaspoon onion powder, dash of mustard powder, half teaspoon white pepper, and about one teaspoon of sugar. Now I'm going to mix in about a quarter cup of coconut milk at a time until we get that pancake batter like consistency that will stick to the back of a spoon. For me, it ended up being about a cup. Once we're there, we're going to mix in about a teaspoon of olive oil, whip that up, and then we're going to start dunking these. Now I pulled the nuggets off the baking sheet and set them to the side because we're going to dunk them one at a time, make sure they're fully coated, and then just drop them right back onto the 
the, the baking sheet. Now, once these are all completely coated, I'm just gonna toss them into the freezer and let them chill for about two hours. Now, once we get close to the two hours, I'm gonna toss a deep well pot onto the stove and using a Dutch oven, fill it with oil, kick on the heat, and then I'm gonna use a temperature probe to, to really make sure that I nail the temperature on these. We want them to fry at about 350 degrees. So once the oil is ready, I'm gonna pull them out of the freezer, peel them off the silk pad. I'm gonna kind of work the edges a little bit because they are a little square. I'm gonna toss them in probably about six at a time and let them fry until they're golden brown. It only takes about six minutes each batch. Once they're done, I'm just gonna pull them out, throw them onto a wire rack, and then give them a little bit of salt. And that that's about it. Now I'm gonna toss this into the oven on a warmer while I'm finishing the rest of these off. And I'm gonna make them all because these could be frozen and reheated quite easily. Now, I'm not gonna leave you hanging without making a sauce, so let's just make a few sauces, some of my favorites. I always like to make like a honey mustard, so we're gonna do that with just agave instead of honey. So one part agave, three parts mustard. And I found my little whisk. I was really excited about it. I thought I had this lost for like ever. So we whisk that up, and then we're gonna take some of that agave mustard and make some Chick-fil-A sauce. This isn't just a perfect copycat of Chick-fil-A sauce. It's my version. One part of that agave mustard, a one part barbecue sauce, and then one part vegan ranch dressing. Let's whisk that up and I mean that looks pretty good these are pretty perfect so I just wanted to see before Monica came out and tried this I want to break one of these open and oh my gosh I mean look at the insides of this this looks amazing now let's see what Monica has to say these are gonna be really good here's pick a sauce whichever one I'm so excited Yay. okay here we go mmm nuts yes. right well that tastes like a nugget not nuts <laughs> No, this no, tastes awesome. It tastes just like a nugget. Mm. The inside's really tender. Mm -hmm. um, the crunch on the outside is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the sauce. Yeah, chickeny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Very chickeny and meaty. Like, I, I do wonder, and I... <sighs> I mean, I try to say that, I know people get on me for saying this, but like, if you were to rip these open and look at it, like, would you think, I don't think you would know that it wasn't chicken. And then even just- I don't even know if people would know right away it wasn't chicken if they ate it. I don't think they would either. Yeah. I like both sauces. This one's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, that one's really good too. When I made the honey mustard, I didn't have enough agave. It really tastes like chicken. It's firm, like a chicken nugget. It's firm and tender. Yeah. Falls apart, like, like, um, meat does i guess like mm -hmm. you would say like with the strands in your mouth um, yeah like the chew of it mm -hmm. chewing the bite and the snap tastes like a nugget to me with this sauce which is like the chick-fil-a sauce but with that sauce it really has feels like a mcdonald's chicken nugget mm -hmm. these are my favorite nuggets i've made so far are these all the same yeah they're all the same oh, okay i mean there's so many chicken nuggets on the market that all kind of have that <clears throat> the, just an off texture it's mm -hmm. like they're replicating a chicken breast and not a chicken nugget they're not yeah. replicating the strands of the chicken. And the consistency is great. Like if I press on it, it, it looks like mm. a chicken nugget. It's not like it's soft or falling apart. Yeah. Like it's a good consistency. It's everything that you would want from a chicken nugget. It's everything. Super, super stoked. Super duper, duper stoked. One can of, one can of jackfruit. Or two. Yeah, they're really good, honey. I actually yeah. don't have enough one. 